good morning. I decided that today I'm going to share just some new things that I've purchased lately and been given as a sample. And I'm going to show you a look. I recently went to Ulta and I did a quick, I guess it was on my stories, a quick video on on the haul. And one of the things that I picked up was the Ultra Creamy Tart Shape Tape. So I'm going to begin with that and I'm going to use that as my eyeshadow primer. It says Ultra Creamy and I got one of the lightest colors. I probably already have too much. And I'm going to use my usual brush. The, it's a Sephora concealer brush. Okay, it does feel creamy. I'm going to go ahead and take it underneath too because that's the true question, right? I did get a really light color. But if I usually like a light color. I want it kind of a, it still sets up pretty, pretty dry. We'll see, right? I used the cleanser with, an ex, with exfoliating beads in it last night, so I irritated my skin. I didn't scrub, but I guess it, the fact that it had beads in it, just rinsing it off probably scrubbed it a little bit. All right, there we go. I don't feel tight. Let's see. I don't think I look any crepier than usual. The other one, the original one, made me look real crepey. All right, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna move on because I don't have an opinion at this point. I bought a new palette, it's 9V. It's Vintage Rose from Morphe. I know, I've been buying, it's because all the other palettes look just alike and they're hella expensive. I have a young bride coming up soon and I'm betting this will look good on her. I'm going to begin, this is really a pretty palette, with this color. What is it? It's called Blossom. It doesn't look like a blossom to me. I, ha I don't have any plan in mind. I'm just going to go as the spirit leads. I hear an odd noise. I'll be right back. Alright, it looks grayer in the palette, but it's going on more fleshy toned, right? That's nice. Then I'm going to take this color, and it's called, this one's called Rose Bold. And I'm going to take that a little lower. So we're having really pretty weather. It's not quite as warm as I like it. Yesterday I washed my car and punished a, a shrubbery in the front yard that was had some dead parts in it and it looked it looked bad. It looked like renters lived here. So I cut back the dead part and then I had to cut back all of it so it would be even. Then I made sure that the shrubbery wasn't covering my house numbers so the UPS man would be sure to be able to find me. I don't know. I th and right now I'm seasoning a cast iron pan because Pat destroyed the other pans we have. I, I, the non-stick ones and also Dr. Berg said the non-stick ones will kill you. So, or, or they're carcinogenic. So I'm seasoning a cast iron pan. I put some tallow in it and turned it on low to melt the tallow. And then I wandered off 
to make a video. I know. I have a lot, I have a lot of balls in the air this morning. Okay, so this color is a dark, cool brown, and it's called Ferret Me Not. Oh, Forget Me Not. <laughs> it's this one. And I'm putting it in the outer V and just the outside like that. I watched a series of Deep Water that was a PBS thing. And now I'm watching Ginny and Georgia. I think that's the name of it. G-I-N-N-Y. It's pretty good. It's kind of uh, not as sweet and innocent Gilmore Girls. You know what I'm saying, Vern? It has some mature subjects in it. I am going to take... Ooh, this is a really pretty pink. Okay, this one's called Perfect in Pink. I'm going to put that one on my lid with a flat... Pack it on with a flat brush. And then I'm going to... This is a really good palette. That's classic. I'm going to put that under my brow. It's a matte. I think it's matte. Is it satin? Let me see if it looks satin with a better mirror. No, it's, it's matte. All right, I'm gonna do my brows and then I'll come back to that. And I'm gonna use the Got To Be. It's Got To Be Glued by Schwarzkopf. It's fairly inexpensive. And if you like a gel for your brows that does more than just wet them, you probably would like, I I mean, this, it's just really serious. It'll really hold your brows and keep them there. Some of the others just wet your brows and I'm not real sure what the purpose of that is. I guess to make them look shiny or groomed, I don't know. Jenny and Georgia is what I'm watching. I'm not watching The Affair because I'm, Pat and I were watching that together. Although that was pretty embarrassing because there's at least two graphic sex scenes in each episode. Alright, now I'm going to use my Note Brow Pencil. And I don't know what co color it is. It's just O2 brown. So I thought I would go to Target today. Speaking of Target, I did a like to know it collage this morning and I built the look around the paper bag waist pants. And the whole outfit's from Target. I think it's really cute and very affordable. All right, there's that. Now I'm going to take this color, and it is... I gotta get stronger contacts. Flourish. It's a frosty... It's, it's not as white as it looks in the monitor. Although it's looking pretty white on my, or gray on my lid, I'm underwhelmed with that. I'm going to take some of this color. It is, legend has it, it's kind of a frosty, taupey brown. And put that in the crease. 
I think I'm having creative issues with this palette because I'm used to wearing warmer colors. I'm going to drag my crease color up even higher. It's a sweet little palette. Sweet colors. I think it would really look nice on someone that has silver hair, really light hair and blue eyes. Silver hair maybe. This is some more Forget Me Not, the dark brown. And I'm going to take a dark brown pencil. I'm going to, I have one by Jean Tibble, and I'm putting it on the tight line. Hmm. How about a, a pinky? I have a pinky waterline color from House Laboratories. It's a pinky flesh tone. Let's try, okay, there's the color I need. It's the one in the center. It's called Retro, Retro Woe. It is, Retro Woe, the one in the very center. It's not as dark as you think it is. It's, it's sheer and it reflects a little bit warm. It's very shiny. This is the one I was looking for, for the center of my eye. There, that made it all better. Okay, I'm gonna put, I showed you the Galactic Mascara the other day. I'm going to, and I just put it straight on my lashes. I didn't use a lash primer first. This time I'm going to use a lash primer so that I can see how it worked. Just try a different, try a different way. So far I am ambivalent about the Tart creamy shape tape. I still like the make so far. I mean, it's probably unfair to make a judgment call, but so far I like the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind best under my eyes. I don't know about as a primer. Let me comb this out so I don't have stuck together lashes when it's all said and done. Somebody asked me how quick I go in with the mascara after I put the primer on. I go back and do one step of something else and then I come back. I don't wait too long, but I don't go straight in either. Alright, the Galactic. I'm using the, the long side. There's a long side and a short side. I'm not certain that the formula is different on each end. It's, it's just a short brush versus a long brush, probably. I don't know. I didn't read the I didn't read the description when I bought it. I just got the bundle that was the collab that Jess Southern and Melissa did with Girl Acting. I think it works. Oh, here, I'm supposed to be using the other end. Or, it probably would be helpful to use the other end for the bottom lashes. I can say that I love the smell of this. I'm using the little brush to get in the tight spots on the eye. Let's do a primer. I'm going to use the Sisley Double Tensor today as my foundation primer. I don't have anything else on my face right now. I rinsed my night treatment off and patted my face dry. 
And the double tensor is a tacky primer. My face is a little brown and, and red because I've been laying out in the sun. I'm going to use the all hours today. So while the camera was cooling off, I went ahead and put my lashes on and I can't tell you which ones they are because they're a recycled pair. Possibly the Jubilee by Kiss. And I have the double tensor primer on and I'm putting the YSL all hours over the top and what I'm noticing right off and I don't think I've ever paired these two together before is the all hours is kind of a it's one of the it's a mat it's a long wear foundation and I'm noticing that I'm having a little bit of trouble smoothing it out I might benefit from going back over it with the damp beauty blender yeah, it's looking a little, it's looking a little cakey. I don't think these, these two products like each other. I think the double tensor probably would go better with a, a moisturizing primer. Yeah, it looks a little, it looks a little cakey. Let me get a wet beauty blender and see if I can save this look. I usually like the YSL all hours, but I usually put it over something real moisturizing, like, I don't know, what, the La, La Mer Renewal Oil, possibly? Wow, I just, my vitamins just replayed on me. <laughs> that, that wasn't fun. I've been taking the Dr. Berg hair vitamin, trying to get my my bangs to grow out. I don't know what possessed me. I guess during Christmas when I was watching the Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon movie, it was a Christmas movie, and she had cute bangs. Anyway, all right, that's better. It, it's not, it didn't fix it completely, but it's better. And then I have a spot right here where the exfoliating cleanser made me I guess it's a zip that's awesome Jenny all right let's go back in again with the ultra creamy tart which one do I have I, I always like a pink undertone for my under eyes ultra creamy in porcelain beige not a good color. I'm going to use the Beauty Blender to pounce that under my eyes. I like the palette. The Morphe Vintage Rose, is that what, yeah, that's what it's called. They're really affordable too, they're just $12. For a $12 palette. Okay, that looks pretty good. I like it blended with a beauty blender. I bet I look cakey. No? Nah. It likes, okay, that, that concealer likes a damp beauty blender. All right. Let's see what else I've got, I bought. Let's go ahead and do a, a bronzer. I'm gonna use my Buxom this time. I've been using my Physician's Formula Backyard Bronze. No, 
Physicians for My Endless Summer. Today I'm going to use the Buxom Backyard Bronze. I haven't liked my nose contour lately either. I think I'm off my game or something. My brush smells good from using the Physician's Formula. That eyeshadow palette is pretty. Alright, there's the... And I have a new blush. I bought the a mini size in the Orgasm X from NARS. I had an orgasm in my kit and it shattered and every time I opened my kit, it was all in my kit. It had sprinkled on everything. So, let me find a clean blush brush. I'm gonna clean this one. So I just went ahead and threw it out. So I've been without the blush orgasm for quite a while. Okay, now I have a clean brush. And this one is Orgasm X. And I'm going to put it on my high cheek. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And it does have a, a glisten of its own. So you won't need a highlight with that. Alright, I think I'm pretty pleased with that purchase. Let's do lips. We're going to, I want to experiment with the Girlactic again. This time I'm not going to use the orange jelly, jello balm, jello glow, jello gloss balm. That's, no, yes, jello gloss and balm. B A L M, not bomb, as because Fenty has a gloss bomb. This one is called Glossiest. It, and again, the first impression is children's makeup from the seventies. The the smell. The feel is awesome sauce. Okay, and then I want to use the gloss that I got. It's uh, Innocent Pink. It's one of the ones that you can choose when you buy, spend $50, you can get a freebie. It neither adds nor detracts <laughs> from the previous layer. Okay, so if you just like a gloss, that, that's, that's nice. <laughs> I want some color. So I'm going to use the City Lips. Uh, it's called Pink Nude. I probably have so much gloss on my lips now, nothing, everything's going to slide right off. Well, that did nothing either. Nothing neither. I'm going to use, I'm getting so many layers now, I may need to start over again. This is the Kim KW. And surprisingly enough, it's depositing some color, even though I have
a gallon of gloss on my lip. Okay. I give up. It, I've got to take some off. It's, it's, an, I want some actual color. There. Oh, I know. I have a mauve pink in the city lips. This is City Lips Blush Rose. And this is the Rich Chocolate from Maybelline Color Sensation. It's kind of a a deep rose. I don't know where they got rich chocolate. I like that color combination. So that was, and it feels good too. These have a a plumping sensation, even the matte ones, and it was it was the blush rose by City Lips and the color sensational shaping lip liner, one twenty in rich chocolate. I like that. All right, let's go with the powder. I'm going to use the. Charlotte, Til my Fenty is still in my, is still in my kit. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury. And this is a Charlotte Tilbury brush. Alright, I'm going to come in close so you can see the under eyes. They look pretty good. Let me look at them with a magnifying glass. They don't look any crepier than they usually look. I mean, I wouldn't expect a Tarte concealer to make me look my under eye condition to look better than you know what? I should have tried the City Beauty. Is it Eye Rescue? Rescue Eye Re Recovery Eye something. Under under Eye Recovery, maybe? I don't know. The eye cream. I should have tried that under it. We will next time and see if that makes it just awesome sauce. Also, I wanted to share something with you. I got a freebie when I went and bought this, the R & Co Balloon Dry Volume Spray. I got this and it is, if you have wiry, curly, kinky hair and you want it to be silky, silky. I had, a, I had a hard time curling my hair today after blowing my hair out with this. This is the Blow Dry Concentrate from Moroccan Oil. I used, I used, uh, I had, they gave me two packets. I used one last night, or part of one, three-fourths of one on my hair. And it made it, it, it doesn't even feel like my hair. It feels like somebody else's hair is on my head. 
These are my new earrings from Bloom Doll. You know how I have sensitive ears? And they're turquoise green. Aren't they beautiful? And I have not taken them out since I put them in. I can't even feel them. I've even slept in them. I really like those. And it's Bloom Doll. And what else did I want to show you? I think that's it. Those are all, all the latest things. Somebody mentioned this. I did not use that today. I used my regular GHD curling iron to, to do this look. All right, I had fun. I hope y'all had fun. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Leave me a comment and let me know if you prefer a cool, cool smoky eye like this or the more orangey tones that I usually use. Y'all have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again soon.